Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I want to teach you about Wii Video. I use Wii Video quite a bit at school because on Chromebooks, I'm looking for a video editor that I can use on them that the other ones uh, won't work on a Chromebook. So uh, this video will cover a lot of information uh, from your basics all the way up to using a green screen, picture in picture, using different speeds on video uh, and how to finish it and get the video at the end. Uh, I'll put timestamps down below so you uh, can look at the description and then jump to different parts of this video uh, just to uh, speed you up if you have to come back to this video to uh, look for something. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips. If you like what you see this week, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell beside it so you get notified when my new videos do come out. Let's get started on Wii Video. So I'm just going to go ahead and get logged into my Wii Video. Remember what I said before uh, that I'm using a paid for version so I will have no watermarks on this and I'm going to have more options. So I'm going to log in through one of my Google accounts that I already have set up that uh, because I'm an admin of this. Now, once logged in, I'm just going to go right in and creating a uh, new video edit to start with. I'm just going to hit create new and uh, I'll be ready to start uploading media as soon as this opens up. And you can see I can just click on the green arrow right here, the upload and start uploading media. So what do I mean by media? It could be video, it could be music or it could be pictures to this. You can see I can actually uh, click here to upload or I could go to my media and there's going to be more options to upload my media there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I have a couple different options. I can go from my Google Drive or from my computer. So if I select browse to select, I'm going to uh, pick this first video here and I'm going to hit open uh, to this and you can see this one video is uploading here as the bar drags. Uh, to save time, what I like to do is if I have a bunch of different ones and in this bunch I have audio and I have uh, just images too. So I'm just going to hold down shift and select the last one and I'm going to bring them all in at once. So it'll take a little bit of time to upload them. The other thing you can do, so I'm going to hit upload one more time, is through uh, Google Drive. I'm going to pick the account that I have a video saved in and I know I have my intro video right in this file here. So I'm going to click on it and hit select and this will import it right from my Google Drive. So you have some options from either be uh, either from your computer or Google Drive to upload them. As the different images get uploaded or media get uploaded, you can see videos here will have a uh, time stamp uh, telling how long it is. You can see this one is 10 seconds. Images like this one won't have it. So that's how you can tell the difference. We have video, image, image, video. Uh, this is a green screen image and this is a green screen video video. When it has the WAV files like this on it, these are audio files here. So it looks like everything's almost ready to go. Uh, once the blue lines disappear, then you know that they're uploaded here. So that's how you upload your videos and get everything ready to start your editing. So now all my media is uploaded that I'm going to use in the examples here uh, today. Uh, so what I can do now is any of these videos or different media, I can drag them down into my timeline. So I can drag it down and put it into my timeline. You can see I have, this is where I'm going to put my video tracks, video one or video two. At any time I can add more videos because if you're working with layers, things like green screen, uh, and I'm going to have a different video on how to do some things with the special effects. So look down in the description below uh, to how to get to those videos. But you can add more layers at any time. So if I wanted another video layer, you can see I have video one, two, three now. And below I have the audio and I can add more audio layers. So this is my video layer. If I drag my playhead, it will show what is being played uh, through this. I can uh, also just any of these videos or images I can click on or audio, I can view it through here. So if I wanted it to view, uh, view a uh, video before I put it down in here, I can simply just click on it and hit play and I can see the video. So I can drag down uh, multiple videos. So I'm going to drag down another video. I could put it into the same track here or I could put it in a above track here too. So uh, depending on if you're working with different backgrounds and I'll show you some of these features later. 
but you for right now I'll just put it in the same track and if I want some audio in it I'm going to drag uh, one of these uh, down into my audio track here so I can also change the view of uh, of how much I want to see so down here if I drag this uh, everything, if I move it to the right, everything gets longer. It looks like it's not changing the length of any uh, thing for editing. All it's changing is the view depending on how you work on it. I change back and forth on this all the time because sometimes I want to get to a certain spot where I want to split something and uh, then I zoom up on it. So a different way you can change a view. So I, I put now some audio in here and video. If you go up to the main menu up here, uh, you can look at some of the different options. So I can do a new edit, I can open, open recent, save, uh, make a duplicate, I can rename this. So right now I just have it called my video. I went with uh, the default I can, uh, revisions here and delete. Now this right here is important depending on what mode you wanna work on. I like timeline mode and this example is gonna be shown in timeline. If I click to story mode, it gives you a warning because you don't have as many options in story mode, but it is very simple to use. So I'm just gonna do a quick switch over so you can see now I don't have all my layers and if you're working with more uh, advanced things like maybe green screen or you're on picture in picture you need to have different layers uh, to work but this is a very simple way maybe you're making a slideshow uh, with images and you just want to drag your images down below in here uh, makes it very uh, very simple to do but I like what uh, what I like to work on is the timeline mode so uh, looking through uh, the, the things I'm going to show you in today it'll be better to stay in this mode here. So once we have uh, different things, I'm going to show you some basic moving around in editing now. When uh, when I click on a certain video, uh, this title got put in because of the um, uh, because of the, when I switch back and forth. So if I click on something, uh, you notice I have the garbage can that comes right up right away. I can delete it. I could hit backspace on this too. Uh, if I want to move things, I can drag things back if I wanted that back to the beginning. And I can also select multiple things. So I can drag uh, with my mouse how much I want to select and move them all at once. So if both are selected, notice that blue lines uh, around them right now. If both are selected, I can move them both at the same time. So some uh, basic editing. Let's say on this uh, on this one right here, uh, maybe I don't want the whole clip. Actually, I'm gonna go to the skateboard one. Maybe I don't want the whole clip. Different ways I can cut this and uh, edit it. I can go up to the viewer up here and I can drag this back. So I can drag this back here and as I do that, notice it's connected to this here. So I could be viewing it, watching it, and maybe this is a cut. So that part of the video is gone now. So uh, if you don't want something in there, that's an easy way to cut. I can also just drag back from here and it will do the same thing. Now, a different thing, different way you might want to do is just make a cut in it. So this is a playhead. If I drag this around, see the scissors up here? I can just hit, uh, click the scissors and it just made a cut. So with the cut, uh, notice that uh, there's a slice in between, uh, in between this now uh, that if I played it, I'm going to hit play. You'll be able to hear the music playing. It didn't look like anything happened, but it's in two pieces. So now I can drag this around and now there would be a gap of no video in between it. Or maybe I want this deleted. I can go and hit the garbage can. Uh, I can uh, uh, just hit the backspace or get rid of it. So depending on which way you want to get rid of certain parts, you can do that. So I can drag it back hit delete and that part is gone. This doesn't affect the original footage up here. Uh, so if I drag this video back in uh, here, the footage is the same. So don't worry about making your edits down here if you need to grab the video at any time again and start over, just drag it uh, back down and you'll have the original footage. In the previous part, I was showing you how to edit uh, just by pulling back and actually taking parts out of the uh, out of the video. But what happens if you only want to change the speed of it to make it shorter? So either put it in slow motion or uh, speed it up. So in this clip right here, my intro, this is 10, uh, about 10 seconds long. I never play it at that, so it's very slow and I want to speed that up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this clip and I'm going, going to go to the open the clip editor. Now at the very last tab here, this is the speed. So I'm just going to uh, leave the range I wanted on the whole thing. 
but I want to increase my value. So I'm gonna increase it over this way a bit so it speeds up. So now if I play it, it's gonna be much faster here. So I'll play it one more time. Maybe I want it, if I want it a little faster, I could still move it. So I'm gonna hit done editing. And now you can see the clip is much shorter here. So it's around uh, two seconds when it used to be 10 seconds. The whole clip is there, but I just changed the speed of it. So that's a lot different than if I'm pulling this back like this, I'm actually cutting footage off the video. So if you wanna uh, uh, change the speed, but keep everything in the video, make sure you go over to the clip editor and then over to speed. These other items in the clip editor, I'm gonna go uh, later on in the video with green screen and picture in picture. Uh, so stay tuned for some more advanced editing. When you're working with images uh, inside WeVideo, you can just simply drag them into the video. So I'm just gonna drag a few different uh, images in here, drag them down, and you can put them into your video track and then you can tell how long you want them to play for. So you can drag back uh, and then you can just, if you want uh, to change them at any time, remember it's not like a, it's not like a video, you're not cutting anything off of it, you're just telling how long you want it to play for. Uh, then you can add your audio uh, down below, and then if you wanted to make something like a slideshow, you can do that. Now, one thing that uh, a lot of people might like to use is put transitions in between it. So what I can do is right click on any and I can add transitions. Now this works with video too. Uh, we can uh, in between different video clips and I'll show that in a moment with a few more different ones. Uh, you can uh, choose different uh, types of transitions. So maybe I'll choose a, uh, I'm gonna go with the ripple and I'll just, and I'm gonna move this side by side here so it connects to the transition. And as I hit play, you can see how it ripples across. Now I can go and grab some video again. I'll put my video back in and I can add uh, transitions uh, in between these two also. And I'll pick a different transition here. I'll go rainbow this time and I'll just put them side by side here. And you can see now we have transitions from whether it, you want it to be from image to image or image to video, or you could split at different point and add the transitions. The other way you can add your transitions are up top, um, right up top here. So they're all uh, here and I can drag them. So any of these ones are the same ones. You can see the rainbow. I can drag it after uh, where I want it. And then if they're, so if I make a split, I'll just make a split here. And you can see now if I grab a curtain one, I'm gonna drag it right there. And now I've made a transition where I've clipped it on that one. So very easy to add tr transitions by right clicking on the image or video clip or going up here and adding it uh, like so. The other thing you can do is fade your um, fade your images uh, out and video out. So if I was uh, wanted to fade this image out, notice if I uh, click uh, if I click on this one, actually I'm gonna do this one, click on this one, and I'm gonna open up the uh, this one right here, the fade options, and I can drag this down here, and what's gonna happen is it makes things fade out. So if you wanted a certain video to fade out at the end of the video uh, and make it nice and smooth, you can just drag this and it changes the opacity uh, to this by just simply, you can drag it back to bring it back to normal and you'll see it's back like that. So those are some options you can do uh, with the transitions and then the fade out just to make your video, uh, make, make it look more smooth. Quickly add effects to any videos just by clicking on them and notice that there's FX uh, right here. So if I click on it, I have uh, some quick effects and it shows you the example as you hover over uh, any of them, what it's gonna do. So if I click invert colors and I apply, that will go to that, uh, that one clip. I can also, if I wanted to maybe split it at some point, and uh, this time I could go back and add my effects. And if I click on, let's go, if I wanted this one, notice I can put this to all clips at the same time. So you have a choice what you wanna do, uh, but so very simple to add a few different effects uh, as you're going along in editing. I'm just gonna add a couple more videos back to my video track here again. You can see I have a little bit of different view showing here. Uh, you can adjust this. You have three different views. I'm gonna go back to the middle one. 
but if you wanted to see if there was any audio, uh, this opens it up uh, down below here. But I'm going to go back to the uh, just the medium version. I'm going to drag uh, one more here just to show you a few more options with the text. If I go up top here, so to the text tool, uh, you can see I have a bunch of different ones. I'm going to go up to this motions and more because there's some really good professional looking uh, 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 text options. So I'm going to pick this one, this uh, count one, two, three, four, and I'm going to drag it down uh, over top into a new layer. Uh, the reason I'm going to drag it into a new layer is because this is transparent and it's going to show through to the background to the bottom layer, layer one on this one. So you can see I, I can just simply add it. I could drag it to its own uh, onto the same layer and then it's just going to be the black uh, background if you wanted it to play like that. But if you want it to play over an image, uh, that's how you go through it to uh, to add it there. Now I can go through and adjust what I want to say in colors on it. So if I click on it, just go through to the open clip editor here and you can see I have, this is where the one, two, three, four comes up. I could change this, but I'll go six. I'm gonna change, uh, I'll pick a different color for this. I'll go a blue and I'll hit done editing. And you can see I've made uh, that option now uh, show up here. So there's lots of different ones that you can pick and you can adjust the colors and what you want it to, uh, to say. You can apply the fade out uh, option just like what I showed you prior to if you wanted to fade out on top of the video too. So take a look at all these dis uh, different text options to add some uh, more professionalism to your videos. Make sure you take advantage of the other ones here too. They have the in-season uh, ones that are very cool, quick to use, and the different callouts. So another thing to use in Wii Video is to take a look at the audio. So if you're looking for audio and you don't have a lot, they have lots of different ones that you can add in here. So check out the free music. You can click on it to preview it. Simply drag it down into your audio track. Uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, use it, remember you can clip it just like the videos. If you want to delete a part or bring it back, uh, just like video to uh, trim it uh, to a certain part on it. And if you want it gone, just simply delete it. There's the sound effects here. Simply just drag it down below. So if you're working, if you want some funny sound effects in your videos, uh, check out all the different ones here. And if we continue on, there's transitions, which I already showed you how to use. And then there's the graphics. So I'll just start with the backgrounds here. So this works well, uh, especially if you're using something like green screen, uh, you can put these videos in the background. I'll just drag it to a video track and you can see here, if I put it to the bottom layer, I could use a, a green screen and get rid of the uh, chroma, uh, the color in it, and then have this in the background. I'll show you how to do that a little later in this video, but you also have your solid colors if you're looking for that, or your overlays. Overlays are kind of fun, uh, similar to the text. If I just drag it on top of it, a video because it's in transparent mode and I hit play, you can see um, how it uh, plays over top of it. And then you have frames also that you can add around a video. So I can put this right on top of this one. I'm going to stretch it out to make it even on this one. And you can see now there's this frame around this part of the video and I could do that to any other of the videos I have on it. Uh, the other thing you can do, uh, so there's all those effects that I just showed you, but there's also themes up top here. So you can go through, uh, maybe if I wanted a black and white theme, it kind of gives you uh, what it will look like and it will replace the soundtrack. And so if I hit use the theme, so what happens now, you can see everything in here has that theme attached to it, the music, the black and white. So it makes it a very quick way uh, to adjust the whole look of your video uh, project on it. So uh, sometimes I'll use them for something quick uh, and that's the way I think about uh, using them if you're just putting together something really quick. Pick a theme and it'll do a lot of work uh, for you because it has the soundtrack and formatting all in place. But I, I'm gonna go back and do no theme and it will be back to the uh, different ones that I had uh, before. So I wanna show you some advanced editing here. Uh, I'm gonna drag some video into here. So I'm gonna go and grab, uh, let's grab, I'm gonna grab the skateboard, drag it onto uh, video one. 
And I can always grab multiple copies of it if I wanted it to uh, loop on this one. And I'm gonna use layer two here too. So I'm gonna say I want uh, the cat on layer two. So what I want uh, to do with the cat is I'm gonna add some effects to this one. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to uh, go to my, open my uh, clip editor. And I'm gonna to go to the first one here to show you some things. I can rotate everything on. If I wanna rotate the whole video that of the cat, you can see how simply I can do this. Uh, these are reset buttons over here. I could flip him uh, up, down, and reset. I could uh, scale it. So if I scale it, what this means is I could take this video, it's almost like picture, well it is, picture in a picture, and I could put it to a different uh, part. So what that allows me to do, now if I hit play, you can see now this will be up top here. So done editing, and now if I hit play, you can see that I have picture in a picture. The other thing I can do, if I go back to this editor again, is uh, to uh, scale, uh, to make it move. So I'm gonna go to here. Let's say uh, for the start, I want it to be here. And at the end, I want it, I'll just move it over to be here. And I'm gonna hit uh, play to preview it. And what's gonna happen, the whole image is gonna move up. You can see how it's gonna move up uh, to it, into it, the spot that I end it, uh, ended at uh, during that whole clip. So if I hit done editing, now, if I hit play, you can see the movement of that one video uh, with it. So it's a nice option if you want it, if you're looking for that picture in a picture uh, to it. So now with green screen, so let's say if I have these uh, seagulls on the beach here, I'm gonna move them here, and I want these chickens, these chickens here to join them. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna drag it over. I'm gonna shorten this one, I don't need it this long. I'll just match the clip uh, with it. So this is how easy it is to use the uh, green screen option. So I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna go up to open the clip editor. This over here is, uh, is for uh, taking out the green. So if I click the dropper and just click on the green and notice it's gone now. So if I hit done editing, now I have these chickens on the beach as I play with this. So I can also size these. So if I go back, and uh, size this. So if I go uh, just what I've already showed you with the uh, scale here, I'll go back uh, to this one, the scale. So maybe I want these smaller and I can move them around now and I hit done editing. So now I can make it even look a little bit more real as I play it, I have these chickens on the beach using the green screen. If you're using green screen to film your own footage, make sure you have lots of light. Uh, that's a key uh, that I find when I'm using green screen. You want it to be uh, lit well, uh, try to get those shadows uh, away uh, from the background. Lots of light uh, helps that. But the green screen option is great, uh, great to use. Just the last few uh, options I wanted to show you. If I click on uh, this video here and I'm gonna go back uh, to the uh, editor here. Uh, you can see uh, on this one, uh, there is if there is uh, sound, we have volume levels that we uh, can adjust to it. I've already showed you this one. You can adjust the color of it too. So if you want the background maybe a bit darker, you can go through and adjust any of these and reset them back uh, quite quickly. And here's for speed too. So if you want uh, if you want something to go faster, just simply, uh, if I play it now, you can see it's in fast uh, motion. So those are some probably effects between the picture in picture, the green screen and speed. Uh, those are some um, of the effects that I think uh, very easy to add that can really add a lot, uh, a lot to your video uh, to have a, and having a lot of fun uh, with it. When you're done your project and you wanna publish it, just simply go up to the finish right here. So I'm gonna click on finish uh, and I already have, I've just, I'm just calling this movie. You have some options whether you want it to be 480p or 720p. I also usually go with the 720p, but it depends on what you're using this for. Uh, you can you can see destinations here if you wanted to go to um, uh, the FTP, the Google Drive, or the cloud. I don't have any of these connected right now, but I'm going to hit finish on this one, and this gets saved to my WeVideo account. 
Uh, so it's going to go through and uh, it's going to be uh, it just goes through and process this. Uh, so I'll show you back when it's all done here. When you're done, you can see you'll get a link which you can click on and it will bring you to where your video is uh, in WeVideo. If you hit play, the one thing I want you to notice that the quality, notice the quality uh, versus when you're working on it, how much more clear it is. You can see uh, you can adjust uh, the, uh, I'll turn it to 720p and you get the higher quality here too. So you get a link to where your video is, but remember you could uh, set it up if you wanted to go to, F from, to an FTP, to Google Drive, Drive or to OneDrive, you could save it here. But for now, I have this link uh, with WeVideo. If I ever go and check, all my videos will be here. So this is the video that I have under videos now when I hit finished uh, on it. So uh, very simple to uh, finish your video and uh, then to publish it through the link right through WeVideo. Well, thanks for watching uh, today and hopefully this video has helped you out if you're looking at uh, maybe using WeVideo. Uh, if you're looking for more help on WeVideo, drop a, uh, a comment down below and maybe I can answer it or create a new video answering your question. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see uh, this week, please subscribe so you uh, don't miss my new next ones coming out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.